We are celebrating Hispanic heritage all this month, and a big part of Chicano culture has revolved around cars and cruising and low riders. And for equally long, part of the culture was demonized, even criminalized. That is changing now. And as Ryan Yamamoto shows us, one man is keeping the low rider tradition alive, but instead of riding on four wheels, he's riding on two. Low and slow, a perfect day to roll through the streets. It feels really nice. A chance for Antonio Yepes and his crew, his family, to ride with pride. How I feel representing my Latino culture, man, I feel proud of myself. I feel very good. I feel blessing. This is what I wanted to do, represent our culture where representation is created down in the basement of his tenderloin home, sparking inspiration while shaping and smoothing his newest creation. We almost 50 percent, almost 60 percent of the work is already done. And when finished, it will become the 12th lowrider bike that Antonio has designed since he began building bicycles 15 years ago. And whatever I have here, I'll bring it here. If you have a art to do, well, this is the best. Show up your art, your work. Expressing himself on two wheels in a culture known for their elaborate creations on four. I always have a dream to have a, a like a lowrider car, you know, with those kind of models, but uh, they didn't, I didn't have enough money to, to do that, to have a car. But his art has taken him just as far. Look at his latest bike he simply calls the Joker. So I have this one right here, two. I have this one, three, four, this is five, six, and the rest of the Jokers, they're on the wheels, right here. A bicycle he uses as a show bike for display that's winning awards. This one already, uh, 10. We got 10 already with this. Third place, first place. We have more first place than third place. But beyond the awards and accolades, his family is his biggest victory. She's always yeah. right? Uh, yeah. Most of yes, the time. Most of the time, yes. <laughs> Especially when fine-tuning the bike that his wife, Bertha, rides. You know, when he needs help, because this is two people work, like you have to hold it. We always help each other. Everyone in our club helps each other with everything. So I love it. I, I, I love all this. That love reflected on the bikes themselves. This is my son, my little son, my wife, myself. A family that rides together, expressing their Latino culture through their club and crew, where everyone is included. You're, you're the white guy. That's correct. I'm, I'm bueno. Including Ryan White, who grew up in a Hispanic neighborhood in Southern California in the late 70s. It's the love of the culture that they see in me. I speak Spanish as well. My like true love of Latino culture, I think, comes out. So they're not going to care that I'm white. Bringing people together from different races and cultures. That's how I describe myself with my friends, like a family. All riding together, low and slow. Antonio is so serious about his art, he says he turned down a $10,000 offer for one of his bikes. He wants to display them in a museum one day.